today I have this canvas board. It's quite large. I got from Dollarama and I just threw away the thing here. It is a 16 by 20 flat board canvas. Um, I'll show you the back here. It's just where they have the canvas wrapped around and then they have the paper over the back. So it's not like the board, but it's still the flat canvas. Um, so there is the canvas that I got from Dollarama. $3.00. For that canvas and it's good for these projects uh, this week's project is Egyptian so I'm going to do like a kind of hieroglyphics uh, and profile type of paintings that the Egyptians did um, it's hard I don't have I'm I've decided that I'm going to use some tissue papers and paint this and I'm gonna I'm not gonna put hello hi I can't say the word I'm not going to put their writing on the wall. I'm just going to put um, these alphabets here that are kind of unique for uh, embroidery. And I'm just going to put them sideways so they look like hieroglyphics. <laughs> I can't say it just now. Um, of course, when I get the video going. So I think that will look really cool. I'm hoping you guys will see well, uh, even though the camera is far up. So you can see everything. So I have different tissue paper to put down. And I'm kind of just going to do it sideways. So it looks like something different. Like that. So I think it will be I think it'll be good to get the idea of the feel of it. And then I will probably have to paint a profile picture of some type of Egyptian. But I'm just I going to kind of put my gesso like this and then I know there's gesso on there so I'm not going to be like uh, too worried about getting it all on there totally perfect but I do want to get some texture down so I'm going to use my gesso and throw that in my water going to grab a sponge excuse me I'm a little clogged up here stuffed up a bit I see if I can just get I know you guys can't see much can you see that what I'm doing there in that so I'm just gonna try and make it look a little sandy or a little rough I think I would go more around the edges doing this, so I'm going to kind of maybe smooth that out what I did over there a bit because I, I don't know. I kind of want to have my painting. I'm going to grab a card now. I've got one of these little. we go in the water it goes in the water it goes and that is my just so guys so I think that's gonna be cool all right okay friends I think I'm gonna throw some of this tissue paper on and I thought well I'm gonna add paint to it after we'll just see how it goes I could also add more on top whatever I'm just kind of gonna go play with it and see what I like Neighbor's son's over and he's banging around, running around. So, with Cora. Anyway. I'm just going to put them kind of first of all in the corners, I think, and then make my way to whatever. But I think they kind of look really cool. Like, look, they're like, I know I'm up high, guys, but I want to be able to see the whole canvas. And I want to do a little bit of a bigger piece this time.
Isn't that cool? So I got this at a secondhand store and it's for embroidery and it's all the letters, see? Um, I'm guessing E, F, G, see? E, F, G. But they look like some kind of made up hieroglyphic words or pyramids or something and I'm using that to my advantage because I, like I said, don't feel comfortable writing words and I don't know what they are. This kind of creepy me out. Does that sound weird? Just like, what did I write there? You never know. <laughs> And so now I'm just going to put some here. I kind of like that. And I think it looks cool even when it's too oh, crap. I kind of like how it looks. So I'm going to, I'm happy with that. Yeah, I feel better about this than writing words that I don't know what they are. I don't want to do something like that. This feels uncomfortable to be writing something in another language that you don't understand. <laughs> so I even though it's like supposed to be art or you just don't know because it's supposed to say something so I just chose to do it this way you guys can do whatever you want maybe I'm just in a weird mood who knows I'm probably just in a weird mood but there we go with that I'm gonna dry that up so here is my piece if you can see how cool that is my so, uh, hello, <laughs> why can't I say it? I'm just trying to sketch the eyes. I'm going to kind of make them a little different because I want to animate them a bit because I don't, I want to have fun with this. So I'm wondering how to make them, if I should make them, hmm more whimsical because I can do that it's my drawing so I did her lips a little bigger too because I didn't like her teeny little boring tight lips sorry ex queenie whoever but I'm kind of just using that picture as and something to go by really so what I'm gonna do is just do my own thing I think um, I was racing on here too, so that works. That's surprising, like, because I never usually race on here, but I'm having trouble with this face because I'm trying to do it a little bit more realistic to what they would have it. And so, it's working to race on just a little bit. If it's dry. <laughs> anyway, so now I'm just trying to figure out if I want, how I want her eye is like well maybe I'll just make it like her eye kind of a bit whimsical yet her eye a little bit I wanted to do it a little different but I can still make it in the background I'm having a little bit of trouble thinking about this painting because they have such a plain face oh boy so now I gotta go do I want to I'm gonna add I got the um, muted gold that I said um, I'm gonna grab some white to go with it and I'm like do I want to add um, some color because it's pretty muted on this one they do have um, great colors for the jewelry and stuff like that so I'm just kind of going all over with this and I got gold on here a little bit inside the brush, so it's leaving a little bit of residue, which really sucks. I accidentally forgot all about it and did not wash it. That's not good. Jeepers. Well, I did scrub it really good, and I thought I got it all out, but there's a lot of debris falling off. So I'm going to have to fix that. Oops, that's her body. So I'm just going over the letters as well a bit. And I 
And then I'll figure out what I'm going to do with the rest. Of the stuff. It worked really well just to rub it off. It was just because stuff. Um, it's a deep red that's over here. Actually, over here about. And so I'm just going to paint my deep red. I'm not going to worry about too much. I'm really like wanting to really do my own thing with it but if I end up doing my own thing with it where I like to paint my own way um I might you know I mean I still used an Egyptian inspiration with the lettering kind of being like the hieroglyphics um and I don't know so this one here has um I'm kind of just going with a little bit of the crown piece or whatever they have on the headpiece here a little bit because I'm trying to think of what I want to do yet so I'm giving myself some time and yeah I'm giving myself some time really So I've just cut, trying to get some texture going on in there. Why not get some texture going in there and playing with it while I'm trying to think. <laughs> so that is what I'm doing. So I'm going to put a very light strip of uh, black I think along here I'm still thinking oh it's a little not very light of a it's pretty thick strip I'm still thinking what am I going to do so going to do me an Egyptian and I might end up doing it with the wonderful colors I love to use just because um, I like using them I like the brightness so now I'm just gonna go around and do this and still contemplate what do I want to do And I, I was like having trouble shaping her nose because it was like, it was a pretty nose, but oh, I still didn't even get the shape that I like. So. There we go. She's coming along. her uh, necklace piece here that I do want to add on with the bright red and blues and greens the primary colors of the Egyptian colors are the very green green true green true red and the nice true blue 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 so I really like those colors I'm gonna see if I can get those in there and in her headpiece and in her face, that might be just whatever my imagination could bring me because I like that. So, I'm going to just kind of wing an ear here. Wing an ear. Is it too far ahead? It's going to be there anyway. So. <laughs> I 
her eye. I'm having a really rough time with this brush. I'm going to have to pull out a different brush, guys. I'm having a rough time with the old brush. Cut. Might be a bit big, but that's what I got. So I'm just going to kind of overdo the eye. I'm kind of just doing my own thing now. <laughs> and the eyebrow. They're very blocky square eyebrows. So there we go. I don't know if she looks like a girl. She looks like a guy. Oh boy. Maybe that helped. I changed the lips made more look more girly. I'm hoping. Okay, guys, I'm just going to continue painting.
second to go over that I am fixing a few mistakes. I didn't like how close the ear was to her eye. I made her eye way big and her ear should have been maybe more back here. So what I'm going to do is clear a spot right here. It's all fixable, guys. So just to show you um, that you can do that. And I'm just going over with the white acrylic paint and fixing it up. Layers, layers. going to do is bring in some gold I'm not sure I just I know it's supposed to be I don't know I'm just gonna bring in some gold and see how it looks because um, I'm trying to figure out what I want so I'm gonna kind of put them on the edges a bit first here to see how it looks I'm kind of trying to figure out what I how I want to do the outer edge it could take forever because I in my mind I'm like oh I want to put some some more texture but also I don't want to be making a three-hour video for you guys to watch but I'm gonna put some gold here and see how this goes I still have to do some detail work on here. I probably will just do that. Um, so I'm adding gold and I know I have the camera up high so you can see all the, the most of it. There is, I do want to do more to the edge, but what is the question? the question is like what do I want to do um, yeah I'm liking how the gold's picking up on here 
I might have to do some stamping or something like that to blend in some of that black. And now I'm being a little bit more, more, um, adding more gold. It's going to stand up. Look at it. Yeah, I'm going to just start blending more. Oh, that one wasn't dry. That's not good. So I've got quite a bit of gold on now. I'm just starting piling it on because I'm liking the way it looks. On the background so I'm liking how that looks I'm truly liking how that looks I did mess up a little bit there I'm gonna go with the cocoa bean this is gonna be a long video guys I'm sorry this is cocoa bean ice espresso uh, just to get a little bit of the darker around the around the piece here so I'm kind of going that's going to be my darker edge I think it looks good. I think it suits it pretty good. So I'm just going a little bit along the um, person here because I don't know what to do. What else to do? <laughs> but I am. I'm liking the metallicness. I like the gold. Okay, guys, that's about it for now. I'm thinking of adding something with this. I'm not sure what. I might go in with some of these just to see. I don't know. I have blue, cosmetic blue. Um, I have red. And I do have green so I might I don't know I might just go in a little bit with these and see how it works it seems like it's just missing something and I'm gonna hold this down and I'm gonna bring it down for you guys to see a bit what I'm doing Okay, so I got my tripod and me. So I'm just taking a few, and I'm hoping this is not going to mess it up. Just to add a little bit of something else to the background here, guys, and um, a little more interest for me to satisfy my um, yeah. So that's what I'm doing, guys. Just trying to satisfy my uh, thing here, so then I can get how I feel like. Oh, it's it's done. 
or it's better. <laughs> So that's why I'm hoping this is not going to look too Christmassy with these colors, but I'm going in with the colors that are in their jewels, the green, red, and the blue. So there's a little bit of it. Let's see how that looks. I'm not sure about it. I could always go over it. I'm not sure. I know, guys, you're probably thinking, what is she doing? Stop. It's okay. I'm remembering what I had on there. So I'm trying to get the um, red, green, blue thing happening here. That's about it. I kind of like it. It wasn't as... I would like to put a lot more to what I was thinking, but I think it's going to take away from it all. So I'm going to stop Guys, right there um, so far. But I can't stop! I'm going to go over the jeweled part of the costume or the outfit with the metallic red gold. And I'm going to brush it on. And I'm hoping that it'll... I, I just wanted to do a little bit more of a luster on the jewels, so let's hope. And I'm doing it with a brush because I don't want to do it with my fingers because my chunky fingers are not going to get into the inside of these. But I'm not going to do them solid, I'm just going to do what I can to get a nice sheen on them when you're looking at them in different angles or whatever so I just want to add that nice part that I put out here around here to this part of the crown headpiece part I'm going to have to probably go in a little bit more white to um, you can see it picking up even now just moving it so I'm just putting it in like a dab I don't want to have to redraw all the ink around it and everything so All that detail takes a long time. I didn't film it all because I would have like been really a lot for you guys. I still have the texture in the crown here in this part that I added. Um, I'm going to probably add something else to that. Now I'm just going to wipe it away and hopefully that will be enough to go in with my green. Nope, it's not. I might have to wash it, I guess. I thought I would be able to wipe it, but no. Yeah. There we go, a little bit of green. The water on my brush from washing it really made that move. And. This has been a long project, guys, but it's been really fun and really worth it. I like the the, the paint in there now. So it doesn't have to be solid. But I like that. Okay, friends, this is it. I hope you like it. Um, 
I know this is a uh, close or um, a far away kind of view of it. I'm going to try to get closer. Here's the edge. This is my Egyptian, Egyptian inspiration painting uh, piece. And I hope you guys like it. And yeah, don't forget to craft like a duck. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.